everybody, and welcome again to Z-Code Sports System. Here we developed automated systems to help you win big every time. It doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Before we get into some Major League Baseball action for June the 19th, I want to invite you to join so you'll have access to the VIP club section right here. And you see it has a whole bunch of different tools right here to help you make your picks more successfully. Okay, so the Major League Baseball season is getting close to halfway complete, a few weeks away from that point. And the teams are really starting to make their move as far as positioning themselves for a second half push. So let's take a look at some games for June the 19th. As we go through here, there's a handful of games. It's not a full schedule, but there's a pretty good number of games here for this day. First one we want to look at is Toronto Blue Jays and Miami Marlins. The Blue Jays come in ice cold down. You see they're coming off of a loss in two and four over their last six games, while Miami is average coming off of a win. And they are three and three over their last six games. If you take a look at the over under trend, Toronto has been under in the last two, Miami under in their last one. But over the last um, 12 games combined, you can see they're even up at three and three over and under. The score predictor has Miami by a six to three margin with a relatively low percentage of confidence, yet of 36%. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see Toronto on a little bit of a downward trend. They've leveled out over the last couple of days at plus 23, while Miami had dropped from plus 26 to plus 18, and they have on a slight upward trend over the last two days back up to 19. If you take a look at the volatility oscillator, this shows how stable they are, how consistent they've been performing with regard to their favorite underdog status. And you will see here, after this loads, okay, there we go. You'll see here that Miami's at plus ten, uh, seven and while Toronto is at plus five. Um, Miami was as high as plus eight. You can see Toronto was as high as plus eight back towards the end of April, and they've been pretty inconsistent since then, dipping and then coming back up. So take their favorite underdog stats with a little bit of grain of salt. In the end, though, I have Miami at home, but I would pass on the over-under bet. The next game we want to look at is Chicago and Pittsburgh. In this NL Central battle, the Cubs come in burning hot. You can see winners of their last four and five out of their last six. And they've been putting up a lot of runs in those wins, especially in the last four. Pittsburgh is ice cold down. Losers of their last three and four of their last six. If you look at the... Um, over under, you can see the Cubs involved in games over the line, five out of the last six. Pittsburgh over in three out of their last uh, five and four out of their last six. The score prediction, uh, oddly, though, has Pittsburgh by a five to three score. Very low amount of runs considering they've been trending over, but the confidence in the prediction is only 26% at the moment. If you look at the power ranks indicator, you can see the Cubs on this, a steep upward trend. They were at three just about, let's see. Not even a week ago, and they are now up to plus 16. And the Pirates were as high earlier in the season at plus 26, and they are now sitting at plus 10. So in the end, the way I'm feeling about this game is I like this to be a Cubs win, and I am going to go over the line in this one. I think they're going to continue to score a lot of runs. The next game we want to look at is Boston and Minnesota. Boston comes in average, so does Minnesota. Uh, Boston is 3-3 three three over the last six games, and Minnesota is 4-2 and two over the last six, but they're coming off of an 8-4 to four loss to Detroit. Um, the over-under, you can see Boston's been over in the last two, but under in the previous four, so two over, four under in the last six, while Minnesota four over and two under in the last six. So opposite sides, it makes it a little bit difficult to make the pick for over-under in that scenario. If you look at this score prediction, it's Minnesota 5, Boston 3, with about 37% level of confidence in the prediction. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, you see an upward trend from Minnesota. They were at plus 11 just a few days ago. They are on the upswing up at plus 19. And Minnesota on a slight upward trend after a couple of days of being stable, and they are now up to plus 13. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, uh, earlier in the season, you can see there's a three-game series in Boston. Boston won two out of those three. Actually, yeah, Boston won two out of those three. Um, take a look here at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor. You can see Boston has been very inconsistent with regard to the fair underdog status at minus two. They were up as high as plus one, still not high, um, but they are now in the negative at negative two. And Minnesota has been pretty stable most of the year, and they're at plus eight. So, with the prediction, the pick here, I like Minnesota at home, but I would pass on the over-under bet. 
The next game we want to look at is the game of the day. I, in my opinion, the Mets at the Astros. The Mets are coming in ice cold up. Um, winners of just two out of their last six, but they are coming off of a nice win over the Yankees, four to three. While the Astros are averaged down, they are three and three over their last six. Max Scherzer is scheduled to pitch for the Mets. He has a relatively mediocre 4.45 ERA, a good record of five and two, but he has been a relatively poor bet at minus twenty-eight dollars on the pitcher profit oscillator. If you look at the over/under, the teams have been involved in games over the line and they combined seven of the last twelve with New York being involved in over, games over the line in four out of their last six. The score predictor, though, has Houston by a four-run uh, margin of victory, 62, with a pretty high level of confidence compared to what we've seen so far at 70%. The power ranks indicator shows Houston on an upward trend from plus 16, a steep upward climb to plus 25 just over the course of two days. And you can see that the Mets have gone from plus four to plus seven, a modest climb over the last couple of days. If you look at the volatility oscillator, the stability factor, again, uh, pretty stable for both teams. But particularly lately, you can see that Houston's at plus nine, a pretty good upward trend over the last month. While the Mets, a pretty nice general upward trend, they're up to plus four. So I do like Houston. They're the better team. They're playing at home. Okay, let's go with the world champions to win this game in a game under the line. And we have one more game we want to look at. It's the Padres and the Giants. The Padres come in average at the moment. They are coming off of a loss in 4-2 and two over their last six, while the Giants are burning hot winners of four straight. If you look at the over-under, uh, um, the Giants have been involved games over the line in the last four, in those four victories, while the Padres over in three and under in three. The score predictor has a very tight game. San Francisco just by a single run, 6-5, to five, with about, the confidence in the prediction of a toss of a coin at 49.7%. On the power ranks indicator table, you can see uh, San Francisco on generally on an upswing at plus 21. San Diego took a steep uh, decline from 16 down to 8, just over a matter of a couple of days, but they have increased over the last few days back up to 13. So let's see about the head-to-head -head matchup so far this season. Earlier in the season, there was a two-game series in San Diego, and the Padres won both of them. And pretty high-scoring games, particularly the first one was a 27-run output, and the last one was a 10-run output. So I like the Giants to bounce back. I like this one in a game over the line. So there you have it. Those are the games for Major League Baseball scheduled for June the 19th. 